Hello everyone, this is Coach Steve here from Great Coast CrossFit, here for your Monday, June the 1st workout. Today we're going to have four sections, the warm-up, strength, wad, and finisher. But we'll start off with the warm-up, which is going to be a five-minute AMRAP, as many rounds as possible. We're going to start off with a 100-meter run, or if you don't feel like running, we'll just do 30 seconds of cardio. Then we'll go into eight box step-ups, eight lunges, and finishing off with eight sit-ups. So again, that 100 meter run or 30 seconds of cardio, uh, if you want to do mountain climbers, burpees, uh, jump roping, anything that's gonna get that heart rate elevated, gonna work perfect for you. Then we'll go into eight box step-ups. If you have something like a shoe rack here, or if you don't have a box, find a step outside of your house or on one of your stairs, you work perfectly fine. For the step ups, just make sure that your entire foot is on your rack, box, whatever you're using, and you're stepping up and coming back down. And we're alternating our feet. So we have four per side. Then we'll go into lunges. And again, all we're going to do for lunges is we're just going to take that step forward, taking a big enough step that the knee is tracking over the ankle, not over the toe. And again, we got eight or four per leg. Then we'll go into sit-ups, get on the ground, put your feet together, and just fall back, come back up for eight sit-ups. Once you're done with those eight for five minutes, we'll be ready for strength. For today's strength, it's gonna be pretty straightforward. We're gonna do three sets of five reps of dumbbell or barbell front squats. So what we're gonna do, I'll demonstrate with my barbell here, get into a good front rack position, barbell resting on the shoulders, elbows up, parallel with the ground, and we're just gonna go into that front squat, making sure that the hips are below the knees, flat back all the way through. Once you have your five reps, take as much rest as you'd like in between your sets, and since it's a low sets to, uh, to some fairly low reps. Uh, if you have the available weight, maybe go up a little bit in weight, be able to really get that strength in for today. Uh, and we'll go into our wad. For today's wad, we're gonna have a double AMRAP. So it's gonna start off with a six minute AMRAP of a 200 meter run or one minute of cardio. And we'll go into 10 dumbbell front rack lunges and we'll do eight uh, hand release push-ups. And once you're done with that first six minutes, we'll rest for two minutes and then go into another six minute AMRAP of the same movement. So again, those uh, 200 meter run or one minute of cardio, eight dumbbell front rack lunges and eight hand release push-ups. So again, we're gonna go up for that 200 meter run or a minute of cardio, whether it would be uh, jumping jacks, burpees, mountain climbers, jump rope, whatever's gonna get that heart rate elevated. Then we're gonna come back in, grab a pair of dumbbells, we'll get in that front rack position. Again, making sure that the elbows are uh, parallel with the floor, and we'll go into those lunges. Just like with the warm up, making sure that the knee is not tracking over the toe, it's tracking over the ankle. And we'll do four per side, and then eight hand release push-ups. So we'll give them that good high plank push-up position. Go all the way down. Once you are down to the ground, lift your hands up on the floor any way that you can, and come back up. We got eight of those. Once you're done with that first six-minute AMRAP, again we'll rest for two minutes and. Then we'll start back up with another six minute AMRAP of the same movements. Once you start off with that second AMRAP, start off where you left off in the first. So that way you can just keep a running total of how many rounds and reps that you have done uh, for the WAD if you're keeping track of it for today. And for today's finisher, it's going to be pretty straightforward as well. Uh, it's going to be three reps. We're going to do 30 seconds of three movements. So the first 30 seconds is going to be a right side plank. Again, going from your hand like so, or going down to your elbow, whatever's gonna be more comfortable for you. 
Once you're done with that 30 seconds, we'll switch over to the left side. For a 30 second plank hold, again on your elbow or on your hand. And once you're done with those 30 seconds, we'll do 30 seconds of Russian twists. If you have an object to help you, that'd be great. If you don't, no big deal. We're just gonna elevate our feet off the ground, kind of get in that nice V position, and then we'll just go back and forth for 30 seconds. And again, we have three sets of that. So once you are done, you are done with today's workout, and you'll be good to go. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, looking forward uh, to working out with you again later on this week. Thank you and take care.